Yeah. You know what's hilarious is how much how much I've had to tell the story because as it just shows from where the video goes and stops and everyone first of all you have to tell everybody that it's not a lunatic behind me pushing me that I was actually pulled by show my the video before yeah, the we show the video. We show, show the video before Did any of you guys know what happened? Of course. I literally I just a couple. she doesn't. People started blowing up my fucking Twitter. I thought it was a joke for like the first hour of it. And then I saw this video and I was convinced someone uh, kicked you off stage. And I will say, uh, in all sincerity, I didn't realize how much I love Jay. I was, I, my fucking stomach dropped because the fall looks like Jay is dead. Seriously. Yeah. And let me say this as well because Ari Shafir, Dan Soder, and Shane. Shane Gillis. Claim, claim, my vice president. Claimed responsibility for this right away. What, the, Ari puts out a video of them claiming responsibility and showing the fall. <laughs> While we're talking to the cops and the man is still being arrested. No. Yes. No, no, no. no. Yes. I, I know. I know. Wait, 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 but hold on. Shane told me this. He said. They filmed it immediately. We, we were going to wait to put it out to find out if Big J was okay. But then they said, you know what? Fuck it. Put it out anyway. No, no. I, heard, I heard they found out I was okay first. No, we were on the way. You when know, you called, you when you're like, oh, it. well, let's hear it. Shane said, should we wait to find out if he's okay or not? And we all immediately looked at each other and just like, almost like a cartoon, like, like a commercial for, for cereal in the 80s. We just go, nah. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Ari jumps the gun on a possible death. <laughs> I thought it was done. Did you find out Jay's daughter also got killed in this attack? <laughs> this, this guy murdered me and my daughter. <laughs> All right, so uh, for the woman who doesn't understand, just let me just show you the, the backup. Is, uh, the alternative comedy world was once a very small part of comedy. Now they become dominant and they hate mainstream comedy and they do whatever they can to take them down. So alt comics have done this. So this is the video of Jay being attacked. And we'll explain exactly what happened here right after we show the actual videos. Is this the one context. Christine sent? Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the, the okay. only video that really it was just surprising. Uh, that's not a goalie. That's Big J Okerson on stage right there. I look, also, I look like a Nintendo hockey goalie. <laughs> now, let me just say this right now. See the guy at his feet with his... You see a bald guy at his feet. He's grabbing Big J's calf and ankle. Now, by the way, this guy clearly did his homework because Big J is very top-heavy, bottom skinny. And so <laughs> yeah. he knew yes. to go right for the skinniest now, point you see of me, the day. I'm already standing on the stage because I've watched this man beeline toward the stage already. I'm already I got very, there. I got very grippable ankles. <laughs> you do. They're, you would assume that Big J's ankles look like hand grips on a bike. <laughs> They're incredible. <laughs> uh, so... This guy got yanks Big J off stage. You gotta show the video. Oh my, oh my gosh! That was me yelling, oh my god. Oh my god, get off Oh my me. god! Jay By the way, look how, look how quick I was to come to Jay's defense. Absolutely. I was trying. <laughs> the only thing I see is that you run like a door. <laughs> I'm first. <laughs> you did nothing. You, you gave Jay more momentum going down. I then. pushed off of Jay's head. <laughs> <laughs> and then you missed with a kick. Did you, you didn't touch me at all coming down. No, I didn't touch him. You I, were next to me. When I, try, I tried to kick this guy in the cheekbone. I tried to... Look at but wait, look how little effort he is pulling Jay off the stage. Why are we watching it like it's the JFK assassination? <laughs> now you can see there in the uh, wow. plans from Ikea, a second shooter. <laughs> And so what happens here? What's going on through your mind right here, Jay? I'll take that. I'll take that. Can, we rewind it? Can we rewind it? Okay, let's rewind it and say exactly the whole setup to the story, what exactly yes. happened until this moment. Okay. Let's take it back I can to do it here. quick. I've told this to a bunch of people that were worried about me. It's, okay. the video it's a fun to story, ultimately. I want to tell you, I want to tell you what, what provoked all this uh, from the get-go. While Lewis was on stage... It would be great if you just cut to the set of Kramer. Yeah. While Lewis was on stage, by the way... <laughs> back it up, back it up, more, back it up. More. Jay applied to the University of Pennsylvania and got rejected. And uh, so he, <laughs> he had to choose another life plan. Right. Back it up a little bit more. Back it up a little bit more. Dot, dot, Here dot. Jay is. He's a fat six-year-old uh, yeah. watching his, his parents fuck. Back, 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 it, back it up a little more. Back it up a little more. His mom was like, how much is an abortion? <laughs> I was a Wawa, I was a Wawa <laughs> college dropout. <laughs> Back it up a little bit more. Okay. So three guys are fucking Jay's mom. Just pounding her app like, I hope one of us doesn't get her pregnant. And of course, the guy from the bowling alley gets her pregnant. <laughs> um, so Lewis is on stage. Lewis is doing great. And uh, What? No, there's no but. It, no. False flag. <laughs> there was a, No, he was doing great. This woman uh, and her brother, who ended up being the people, uh, where I'm standing, kind of back where they had like, the little tent set up for, uh, for the comics, I'm sitting over there uh, watching, and it's sort of the porta potties are over near there too. 
walking through the earth. I'm surprised you didn't hear them, or maybe just like purposely ignored them. But I as, didn't as, hear them. Okay, okay, I, I believe because it. it was an open field, you know. But when they were walking through the audience to go to the bathroom, she was complaining about. You, but not, I didn't. I didn't tell. All I can tell. I didn't know if she was just being loud and drunk, or if she had a problem with the show. As she got closer, I hear her going like. And they're all fucking laughing at it. Like, yo, for real? Fuck Pennsylvania. Yeah. Fuck this place. Fuck these people. Well, I can't she made a fair laugh. point on that one. Her brother. Now, in my mind, by the way, the whole time this is happening, in my mind, I'm murdering. Yeah, you're doing great. In my mind, nothing, like, it couldn't be better. I was like, dude, everyone loves me. This is the greatest even the set. Only I'm going to move here. Even the only actual heckler is a guy who just, like, loves the show. He looks just like me. He's yeah. dressed like me. Yeah. He kissed me after the show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all true. All in. Um, but this girl, I hear her over there, and, she, and her brother actually, to his credit, was I it just felt like he was giving her more of like, a, oh, come on, like fucking chill out, you know what I mean? She's like, no, it's fucking gross. And he got her to laugh at one point. I just noticed that. And when they Me? went back, no, 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 no oh. her brother, her brother. Just making sure. No, 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 Lewis no, no, she was you. over. She was done with you. Okay. <laughs> she was done with you. Her brother, the uh, meathead non professional comedian, he got her to laugh. Yes, he got her to laugh somehow. But when they go back, their seats are being loud again. But, like, she, the rest of your set was actually, like, standing up but bent over, talking to her family, like, uh, facing away from you. And she was just there. Didn't like, notice it at all. By the way, it's 150 people in a field. It's mostly Legion of Skanks fans. They're all rowdy. So our yeah. fan base is... They're drunk ra- and rowdy. They're drunk. They're rowdy. I, I can't differentiate the people who hate me and are heckling. <laughs> Hell, Yeah. From the people who who like me and are heckling, because there's people that like me that are also like interrupting regularly. Right, right, but Lewis, but Lewis, <laughs> fuck you, you suck. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> Lewis, like that's what they always say. My crowd knows. My fans. But Lewis has a thing also. Like, again, to, you to stink. The, to, Get off the stage. Goes, <laughs> the Gomites are here. <laughs> to the, <laughs> I have arrived. <laughs> to the credit, to the credit of our audience, which are fucking I stay a thousand times over the best fans in the world. Uh, when they come out, like. Also, they kind of know what the temperament of each thing is. So for Lewis, like when they were doing the stuff, like it, that was Lewis's thing. I with them. entered the stage to "fuck you, Lewis, y'all." Yeah, yeah, yeah Fuck it was great. you, 150 people in a field singing that to me. Yeah, yeah. I was furious. No, you loved it, and it was fucking fun. But I'm saying, but they, but they fucking love you. But they were like, you know, they were louder with you. When I went on stage, I thought it was going to be a little ramp, but they were actually like fucking super mellow and, and listen. We have very different styles. So yeah, we yeah. both did a lot of crowd work that night. But I'm like, if somebody's being loud, I just immediately call them a cunt. And I threatened violence upon them. Did you guys do what you said? All crowd work? The whole show? There was a lot of crowd work. Nice. So Big J is much more... Big J is like... People don't understand how good he is at crowd work. Big J does... He's not mean at all. He just... If somebody's an idiot, he will lead them into showing everyone that they're an idiot. So that's what's going on. So I'm being aggressive with the crowd, but they're loving it. It's going great. When Big J goes up there, he doesn't... Like, he's just sort of like... Natural. He recognized that this chick is a fucking moron. She's drunk. And he was like, let me... Pretend to be her friend the whole time and lead her into making a fool of herself. She did wonderfully. Before, here's, <laughs> here's what happened. I came, because all the comics were hanging out maybe 100 yards from the stage, right? Sure. All the way over. Yeah. So when Big J started trashing this chick, I came back to the stage. I was like, this is great. I got to hear what she's saying. Yeah, yeah. Because Big J is just like, he's like, no, I like you. He's doing this thing where he's like, no, no, no we're friends. No, she was saying she liked me. She goes, I like you. And I was like, I like you too. <laughs> But I'm just saying, I just, I just go, but you were just so, you, you turn, so I'll t- let me tell you the things that came down, because these are, these are the words that broke her apart. <laughs> <laughs> it's in this order exactly. First thing she did was, uh, she comes up and she goes, she go, I said the thing about Lewis, I go, you know, Lewis, these people were laughing so hard at your jokes and she, that she didn't like that she denounced the entire state. Yeah. She was like, fuck Pennsylvania, all the people, and I go, I go, so she hates this place. I go, where are you from, miss? And she was like in her phone, and I was like, "Miss, Miss, where are you from?" And then she looks up and she goes, "Me," and I went, "You're the only person that was screaming, I hate Pennsylvania.' Like, you did this. I just described word for word your life five minutes ago." And uh, and so she and she goes, "Yeah, I fucking hate this place." I'm like, "Where are you from?" And she goes, "Reading, Pennsylvania." I go, "You're from here? I thought you're from a better place." And also. Artie Lang said this on Howard Stern one time about Bruce Springsteen. That's what I said. I go, are you a Bruce Springsteen song? Because it's just one of those things that kind of like, fucking Pennsylvania, I hate it. I go, you know you're an hour and a half from New York City. Yeah. Like, go live your dreams, you dumb cunt. <laughs> so like, He didn't say that. No. Let me point this out. Big J did not say that. No, I, he was you're still right. playing let me this say the game. Exact, let me but say the, the exact implication thing. was there. Let me say the exact thing. No, I did call her. I said, what, I said, what are you, a Bruce Springsteen song? Get out of here. So I don't she, know. Was there a Bruce Springsteen so song then she about goes, a chick whose brother is an excellent ankle picker? <laughs> She's going to say, he's great at ankle picking. The guy goes, or she goes, uh, 
she, and then she out of nowhere, she just goes, do you support Trump? And I went, I went, no. I was like, but what if I did? What difference does that make to this moment? I was like, let's assume I did. It is, What's by the way, what Trump supporters say in yeah. public. Yeah, I go, no, no, do, no, I, what? What? What if I do, do I? What? Do I? She Why, goes, do you? This is great. She goes, she goes, everyone who supports Trump, everybody here is a racist. And I went, well, that's like a hard line to take. Like, everybody here is a racist. I don't think that's true at all. What are you drawing that from? And she goes, everybody here supports Trump and, and is a racist. And I go, that's just a wild thing to say. And then I asked her how old she was. Oh, no, she also said everybody here is pro-rape. And I go, I don't know about that. Well, mess. that was true. She goes, she goes, everybody here thinks rape is funny. They're pro-rape. And I went... I think only rapists are pro-rape. Like, no one's into rape, Everybody but Everybody knows do it. our audience is not pro-rape. Our official stance is indifference. <laughs> Hold on. To be honest, guys, I'm a pro-rapist. As a pro, yeah. He As went a pro, pro this rapist, year. I will tell you right now. He's got two endorsements. z Quill. Sweet. Yeah. I actually think Lewis went pro too early. Yo Kratom has actually endorsed my rapes. Yeah. <laughs> They'll support anything. I think you know, <laughs> yeah, so, Dude, if I had a raping web series where I raped a new woman every week, yeah. I could pitch it to Yo Creator. Like, you said, know what? It's pretty good. I said, I said to that girl, I go, I don't know, man. I go, I don't think anybody's into rape who's not a rapist. Like, no one treats it like country music. Like, no, I get it. <laughs> if it's not my thing, but it's pretty rad to some people. So, so then I go, I go, how old are you? She says, 24. And then I have like a bit prepared to say that I have learned last year that white, young white girls fucking ruin comedy. I have a long thing. I tell about it. But the, the point of the joke is very evening out to be like, so just like, just laugh. Like you're making a big thing out of, uh, no one's angry at you, no one knows your life, no one's picking on you, whatever. So then she starts, so here's where it goes haywire immediately. She goes, uh, I go, so then she started back on her phone, and I go, miss, who are you texting there? I, 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 go, I go, are you jotting all this down so you can remember it? And she goes, no, I'm texting my black boyfriend. So no one cares, of course. Everyone's like, okay. And then I go, oh, I go. A few people yelled, ew. And no one. <laughs> Nobody. A few, a few. But I go. Here. You were not. You were I, go, I, go, do, I go, do you have to check in with him every hour to make sure he, has, he knows he has enough time to get bitches out of the house before you get home? <laughs> so, and I just, and then, by the way, in that one, I actually go, I'm fucking with you, sweetie. I don't know you or your boyfriend. Like, why are you getting so wound up over something? I don't know. And she goes. I'm actually pregnant right now with a black baby. And I went, well, I mean, that's more your father's problem than my thing. I go, I, I go, what do you think? I give a shit. And also, she's hammered. Yes. So if she's actually pregnant, which I don't think she is. I think she was kidding. But if she's actually pregnant, it's crazy. No, no, she's she was kidding. You don't remember? So here's, no, here's what goes. Here's how it goes. This is where it goes fucking bananas. I broke her, dude. I broke her. As a human being, I broke her. She goes, so, uh, so her mom, who she's already yelled at us, was a Trump supporter, who she hates, she goes, uh, she says to her mom, Hey, can you guys stop wooing for Trump because we're trying to pretend that we don't care about politics? No, no, they're wooing for the girl's mom. Okay, yeah. cool. Her mom. <laughs> but she goes, so her, mo her mom yells out, she goes, she's lying, she's not pregnant, she's not pregnant at all. So then the girl goes, no, I'm not pregnant because I had an abortion. Like that all spooky. <laughs> not the like, skanks, just, skanks no, fans are like, no, he, yeah. yeah. She, she just believe, she's just created the narrative in her head that we're all alt-right whatever racists who, who are pro-life so she goes you're gonna just, created the narrative yeah <laughs> gotcha. she goes i had an abortion and i went i gotta tell you miss for someone who's hung up so much on racism you're the only person here tonight who's just confessed to killing a black person <laughs> i go so much for that black lives matter tattoo on your pussy and she goes i swear to you she's sitting in her chair she just goes Starts screaming. Now, here's what, because this is what I noticed. I didn't even know what you exactly said in that moment. I didn't realize Jay came out as pro life on this show. <laughs> Doggy, she started hysterically crying and screaming, screaming at the top of her lungs to the point. Now, here, let me explain to you my perspective. Mm -hmm. When she starts crying, she's so upset. Like, like and, I, and I mean this, guys, legitimately upset. Like, you can tell, like, this, she's actually hurt by this now. At this point, she's, maybe she's had an abortion, whatever it is. She's connected with the words that Jay has said, and it's really set her off. 150 people in a field start cackling and laughing in her roaring. face. It was a fantastic I'm line. standing, pointing and laughing like, oh, they're, <laughs> they are It's something rolling, out of someone's nightmare. Rolling I said out loud, I go, I broke her with pure logic. We <laughs> short-circuited her. They are so happy about this girl's pain. She's so upset, and the crowd... They, this is the, the height of their year. They, it's been such a shitty year, dude. Coronavirus, everything that sucks, the economy is fucking... Dude, these people were like, this is pure joy. Her mother, pain. she punches her mother in the chest right twice. Right there wow. and then, boom, boom. 
It's crazy. She punches wow. her mom in the chest, which I point out on stage. I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, what are you doing? Don't hit your mom. So I, and then her family comes up and talks to her. But that's a pretty intimidating thing to someone you're about to fight. Just punch your punch mom your first. Punch your own mom. Yeah. yeah. You're like, you think, I'll do this to my own mom. What do you think I'll do to you? Then her Fight in. Her family walks her off with a jacket over her shoulders like the end of Rambo. Like they were fucking <laughs> bringing in a Green Beret who accepted to finally submit. And the crowd starts doing like the na na hey hey no, goodbye. No, no, no. Jay, you heard me trying to start a na 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 hey hey. What? Well, I did feel like it was you. Nobody joined it. But I go, no one joined it. But I, I as it's happening, I go no no no. I go just, I go dude, she's fucking bonkers. Just let her go. Now while it's happening, the brother starts walking up. Now here's me backstage. I'm watching the brother start to beeline toward the stage, and that's when I get on the back of the stage. Like, all right, dude, you want to go? So That's what, what I see is this guy walking towards me. And I know he's probably coming for a, a problem. But what's great is Isabella is the only person who heard the story who asked me a question. She goes, why are we so close to the front of the stage? I go, it's a real, an- it's a real question and a real good answer. I went on at night, so the lights were right in my eyes. So I had to go very close to the edge of the stage to like, see the crowd. That's why I was so close to the front of the stage. But this guy's walking up. In my mind... Dusty, why were you wearing that outfit of this situation? It, yeah. In my mind... If this guy's coming for shit, probably security's going to stop him before he gets to the stage. Then I'm also thinking, if he's coming for a problem, he's probably going to try to come up on the stage. I got plenty of leverage and time on that. I'm not worried about that at all. Um, and whatever. So when he comes up, he just you goes... You didn't expect him to grab you like he was fitting Cinderella for a show? I did not. <laughs> so much to the point that I still have both feet on the bar of the stool. Like I'm like not foot planted. I'm like, I'm sitting uh, like perched like a fucking dumb fat gargoyle. <laughs> And he comes over, and as he's walking up, he goes, that's my sister, yo. And I went, what? And he goes, that's my sister. And I was like, yeah. And he just cool. And as he's saying it the second time, as he, like, oh, like the second he gets to the stage, he grabs my ankle and starts and tugs with everything he has. And right away, what I know for sure is, I'm going. I'm going off Did you, the Were you surprised stage. by how strong the, he was? Because I'm surprised way, this, guy was, this guy was pretty, pretty big. big guy, yeah. But I, I but, mean, fucking seven feet, surprise, seven two. No, I, dude, I didn't have time. I didn't have time. 380 yeah. pounds. He was like the, the mountain from Game of Thrones. They said he was guys. a fifth degree black belt and everything. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking, uh, no, it wasn't so much his strength. It was just like, whatever it was, I just knew I had no, like, when he pulled my leg, I didn't have my other leg down. So I'm like, oh, shit, like, I'm going off stage. Not considering until, you know, I got to assess everything afterwards. Like, the way he's pulling me, dude. By my, by my feet, his intention of what that pull is, I'm on a five and a half foot high tractor trailer on its side stage, steel stage. Oh, yeah. And then, and then nothing behind it. But like steel, sand, stage, <laughs> steel stage. Steel <laughs> stage. On the thing. So the only serious part of all this, I was like, dude, that guy could have fucking fucked me up. Well, you he, his, been, it, you dude, his dumb bad. drunkenness, he could have just pulled you on your, you would have fell on your head and you could have died. That simple as that. He was just Absolutely. so irresponsible in that fucking moment. I don't know if he was coming in like, I'm going to kill this guy, but he didn't give a shit. He was trying anything. to kill you, dude. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but he could have. Whatever Ari, it was. Ari, you, you paid him. What was he okay, trying to do? Okay, well, the issue was Shane said, let's go to a guy. And I said, let's go to the phone book, see if we can find a bargain. And that was my fault. Yeah. That was you my fault. You went for the cheap guy. I went for the cheap yeah. guy. I was like, it's so easy to get it done. But Shane was like, do quality over quantity. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, dude. Yeah. You should have booed. Yeah. You said booed. It's my makeup. Booed. <laughs> so. <laughs> When he asked me, I was able to tap my fucking other foot on the stage enough to just get my body ahead of myself. And, like, I happened to come down, like, on top of him, like, kind of sideways. Lewis, uh... Like Jackie Chan? Side control? Right, side control. <laughs> Lewis, uh, Lewis told me when he, when he called me to tell me the story, he said this guy, uh, he said, uh, how much his move backfired? He said it's like trying to fight a bookshelf by pulling the bookshelf on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> Which really, great, I mean, like... Thing, yeah. I, no, and he was like, oh, I'll get you! <laughs> well, his intention wasn't me to be on top. I was able to direct that, thank God, to some degree. It was but obviously Jay's athletic prowess that enabled him to get on top of this Can I tell you something, you something, you something about that? I, did, I wouldn't say that at all. I said it was luck. But uh, Dan Soder's girlfriend is an ESPN reporter, and she said, Dan, that's actually really athletic. Somebody from ESPN. That's all I'm saying. I didn't say it. Some hot chick who works Look, for ESPN. I also didn't call Rainbow. myself a cult comedy hero, but fucking Page Six did, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. So in that moment, what I, what I see is this guy runs, yeah. comes towards the stage. He's like, that's my sister. And as, as, as he's coming up to the stage, I was like, dude, he's going to try to fight Big J. 
And I, I assumed he was going to climb onto the stage. That's what I thought. Or like roll on, like like a pro wrestler, like roll onto the, the <laughs> I thought he was going to slide in, like yeah, fucking yeah, edge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so my plan was, if he comes up on the stage, I'm going to clothesline him off the stage. Sure. It was going to be fucking really cool, dude. Just I had pictures in my head, dude. I might have bulldogged him, I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm going to spear him. Like Goldberg. Instead, Lewis went full fucking luchador, high flyer. Dude, I tried to kick him in the face. But I, he, here's what was good. Show the video again. I was trying to kick him in the cheekbone and break his eye socket. Dude, your reaction time was great. Speed from zero to 60 was not great. Look at this. I'm just fat. I see him grabbing Jason. I was like, you want to touch my friend? Not on my watch. I miss. I like, Whoops. <laughs> All right, I they're down that. there. And then you see, it's it's actually really weird from the angle that you were able to end up on top of them. And, uh, and this is and this is the uh, this is the way I put it on bonfire. I was able to in, in, that, po in that position. I was able to uh, voice some of my opinions to him. That's true. And then Lewis was able to voice some opinions of his own for I, about five to ten seconds. Not even. I I voiced some opinions. I let him know. We voiced some and then. Our fucking amazing fan base also had some things. They I'd say about to say. twenty twenty-five of them had some opinions. They rushed to beat that guy's ass. No, no, they did not. They talked to, to him. They just talk fucking to wanted to tell him what was up. And apparently, his, he was allergic to opinions because he started crying and his nose started snotting Dude, out. I can't believe rushed. you guys. By just the way, can I tell you something? You should have hit this guy. I, I know you. I know you've, we've we've had things before where you feel I don't compliment you enough. But one, you were uh, killing on stage that night, hilarious. And two. And two, I gotta tell you, man, you fucking uh, you ran out there, guns blazing, absolutely. It was fucking a uh, good friendship move, dude. You fucking jumped down there, loyal guy, and we were fucking in it, dude. Loyal dogs, man. Uh, fucking that's uh, yeah, fucking Louis J. Gomez, dude. No shit. He was, he's on, he's next to me while I'm falling, which is it fucking is. like, I mean, you were up there, like you saw it come. Like I said, we both kind of thought he was coming. I mean, on and the from stage. a less noble perspective, we jumped a man. With thoughts and ideas, I should have let, no. let you fight him mano y mano as no, most. No, here's the thing. No, here's the thing I want to say. Here's the thing I want to say. Like the Puerto Rican that I am, I couldn't let it be a fair I fight. Wanna I want to suck. You I want to suck your dick. No, dude. Well, you didn't know how I was going to go down. Yeah, that wouldn't have been a fair fight if I was on. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I thought it was defending my. Lewis friend. was, I was like, genuinely. My friend's dead. When Lewis no the skanks. Lewis was so Lewis was so blind reactionary that when uh, when he realized that I was next to him, we were both kind of pulled off. Um, he was like, he put his hands on my shoulders like a real genuine. He goes, are you fucking alive? Like, I was like, no, I had that same reaction on top of him. I was like, I'm, nothing's broken? <laughs> yeah, you were a bad yeah, man. why would you do that to me, you bad person? Uh, you it is. Uh, I would hit you if I was an animal. So, so, it's pretty incredible that you're not hurt in any way. Dude, this is going to... Yeah, dude, this is so. Almost makes you wonder whether this, this whole thing's real. I don't know how to describe this. This is gonna get Lewis laid tonight. I don't know how to describe oh. this other than oh, fuck yes. Than how sexy. Se than how oh, sexy I love this was. Fucking pussy. No, can I tell you my favorite? Can I tell you my I'm favorite just kidding, moment? That check that I'm in a serious relationship. With Let him. me tell you my favorite moment of how sexy Lewis was that night to this guy. And it was this moment. I'm and me and Lewis has a similar thing, which I like because we kind of very organically both just did it. I'm very big. I know when the group's trying to hold you back. If you're still trying to get at the person. Don't keep trying to do the move the pile. Just do the, no, I get it. I'm cool. I'm totally fine. <laughs> yeah. And then me and Lewis just fast walked around. Everybody goes like, no, I'm totally cool. I get it. Let the cops deal with it, right? <laughs> and, uh, and we get around the pile to where his father is like licking his son's wounds, sitting did, on a, did on you a see, fucking... I mean, on, at that on point, because he was trying to walk away, I grabbed him behind him, and I grabbed him by the neck, and I rear naked choked him to the ground. You didn't see this part. I did Because I, I was still trying to run away. I was like, you're not leaving. I pulled him to the ground... And then people started pulling us apart, and his dad was like, he was like, that's my son. I was like, fuck your son. Fuck your son. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get, dude, we're going to get into those people in a second. That's a whole other story that's coming, uh, which is pretty interesting, of, of who these people are and what their relations were. But I see him sitting there, and his this dad... This is a weird, like, response to It's just, like, means something to you, but doesn't mean anything to the guy choking him. Yeah. You're like, that's my son. Like, Lewis is going to be like, adopted or biological? Oh, he goes, <laughs> oh, shit, dude, say something earlier. I was choking this guy. It's your boy? <laughs> And I wasn't choking. I was simply trying to detain him from leaving. Yes, you were and, stopping uh, him. Resisting arrest. That's basic fucking security moves. Dude, fucking, I was doing some uh, citizen's arrest shit. No one's going to argue that. Fucking uh, street patrol. So what we do is we get around the I people. Mean, our we, friend in cloud makeup. And then right? we get still while his, dad's, while his dad's licking his son's wounds. Me and Lewis woke up. And I go, I just hear the guy go, as we're walking to him, he just goes, it's just my sister, man. And I went, your fucking pig sister got insulted. You got fucked up, you fucking piece of shit. And he starts to get up. And here's where Lewis, I don't know why it got me, because we both, me and Lewis were both aggressively started walking and moving the pile. And Lewis is going, somebody just going, he goes, yeah, stand up. Let's get up. 
<laughs> are we getting up? <laughs> and he was just going for it. And then I just saw the headlights of what was definitely the police van. And I put my thing on Lewis's chest and I go, no, 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 we're victims again. We're victims again. I go, nah, 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 we're victims again. And I fucking just stepped back and I was like, ah, let the, Dude, cop, the, cops, the cops were there. The cops showed up and I was literally just being such a spick. I was like, I was like, what? You want to go, motherfucker? What's up? What's up? Dude? Yeah, it was literally, I just went, I went, ah, oh, the cops are here now. We can't. The but cops, I was prepared. I went around that pile with Lewis just to go completely like, the cops hated let's me. find him. And then we'll, do the cops hated me. I cursed the cops. I told the cops, I, like, I was like, I was like, give us five minutes with them alone. I dare they were like, this is not uh, how said, victims That act. was on the heels of going, like, you guys suck so much. At one point, they started going to Lewis. He goes, he says he got pepper sprayed by someone in a black shirt. And he goes to Lewis, he goes, you have a black shirt. And I went, Dude, you guys are a fucking joke. Yeah. I'm like, let's I'm just like, you go. think I need pepper spray for that pussy? Let's go. He's him calling yeah. Lewis every day. I go, I go, dude, we're telling these guys what fucking happened. And he's like, well, did you maybe do something? And he goes, dude, yeah. suck my dick, dude. They were the worst. And then they, yeah. Yeah, apparently, they fucking, when, they, apparently when the video got shown, they fucking a fa- Apparently, I have a tough time believing the cops aren't doing a good job. Everyone in this country seems so happy with them. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, a fan pepper sprayed this guy. I didn't see this happen. And also, I'll tell you right now, I almost don't believe it because yeah. we're on air. But because we, <laughs> because didn't even I didn't smell any pepper shit. spray. No, no. The only way one of your fans had pepper spray is if he took it off the chicky ranch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we were in a scrum, dude. There was no pepper spray, dude. Look, the, the whole thing. Let me say. So where we're at right now is this guy ended up being arrested because fans took that video and showed the cops. Because cops got that were video. Like, Christine's got the video. Cops were like your word versus their word, and we we're like, what do you? It's 150 people on a video. What are you talking about? So they 150 reluctantly... words versus your word. <laughs> Dude, Lewis at one point turns around. I told me he should be a rock star instead of a comic because he turns around at one point. He was like, what are you talking about? 150 people are, are here. And he turns around. He goes, puts up the scan cans. And everybody goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Witnesses. <laughs> Witnesses. Dougie, but was... enough people filmed it. A, a girl filmed it and showed the thing. And then they just finally they put him arrested the guy. Arrested. So here's what Dude, I'm his saying, sister yeah. tried to attack a cop. Oh, no, yeah. oh, what? That, that was dude, not geez. part of the offer. Fucking, dude. This and I started to shoot her, Chan, and nobody joined in. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, put your knee on her neck, hold on, motherfucker. Hold on. Wait, wait. This what? is the one. Yo, she went at the cop. Wait, it, it, how, tell this part. Because she the goes, story. You guys took my brother, and she started fucking. She went at him and, and attacked him. They, at one point, they were going to put her in cuffs, and they just decided not to. Yeah. Jesus. But that chick was a fucking loser. Damn. Let me tell you what's why this whole family. Father who made a pleaded apology to everybody afterwards. Why they all came up to me and said, He was like, Yo, my son, he's a piece of shit. Just so you know, I took him off his side, I punched him in the head three times for you guys. He's the father a, said that. Dude, the father's I'm starting to think he's a, not the best dad. Dude, the father's <laughs> such a scumbag. He thinks this what he's doing is making us go like, oh, you get it, dude. He's like, my kid's a piece of shit. My daughter's a bipolar piece of shit alcoholic. Like, fuck her and whatever. Why did you and drink while you were pregnant with him? It was, well, it's like, why did you bring the... Like, they're your pieces of shit, fuck face. Also, by the way, no matter what the story is at that point, he should be on their side. Even if they're completely yeah. wrong. By the way, if you just go, you're I don't know what... This is why that family's go, that way. They have no loyalty right, in the so family. Saying, like, if, he, fucking... if he came over and he was like, look, I don't know what happened there. I'm sorry that happened. Like, they were out of line, but it's like... But that's fucking, my daughter. And then my... just jaw to you? No, not even that, but just to have like a thing yeah. where it's like, look, they're fucking... I know they were out of line, but it's like, yo, like, fuck... He said no. He was like, they're pieces of shit. We're not bringing them back anytime soon. It's like, dude, fuck off, you jerk off. Like, what a piece of shit. I, look, the father... I gave him Real Ass Dude of the Week on Real Ass Podcast. So I'm not Did you really? Wow. Now. Yeah, I mean, the father's pretty Real Ass Dude. He punches... No, he's not. He, he punched his son two in the assassins face. with him. He punched his son in the face on our he behalf. He punched a failure for failing to finish the job. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so here's where we're at. Jay, it's really in Jay's court because we had him arrested that night. Well, the cops were trying to convince us to not have him arrested. Because they're lazy cunts. But Jay, Jay was like, no, nah, we're going to have him arrested. So Jay wants to go back to Pennsylvania and go to court. Yes. Me and you in suits, we bring our own sketch artists <laughs> who draw crazy wild shit. Yeah, 100% we go. Can I say, can I give you a different... Courtroom draw. Gong, gong. Can I give you a different solution for this? And I think the fans are going to be with me on this. What's that? Dox him, find his house, and, and kill him? No. no don't do that. No, don't do that. Do not that. dox him and kill him. What I would say is, why don't we invite him onto the show and hold our own Can I tell trial. you why? Street Can justice. You, hold on, hold on. Our oh. own trial for trial. him on the show. Yeah, a trial. I'm going to oh. tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I do genuinely, underneath all, I can make anything funny, and it's all funny. What that guy could have done by yanking my phone on that steel fucking stage, dude, could have killed me. Like, I, if, I, if he came in the podcast, I'm like, I'll just, I'll hit him with a shovel in the head. Bring like, him, bring him, uh, bring I genu- him. I genuinely think it won't be all right. 
You know what I mean? Like that guy just hey, yeah, that, those intentions of what he did. Let me, crazy. Let me, can you? I at, can't put it aside. You can't disconnect from it enough to say, "Hey, he's a fucking moron who fucked up." Can I say what he does as well? Here's what happened. The reason oh, yeah. the fans doxed him is because before the show started, he started giving his card out to people <laughs> in the crowd. A girl reached out to me and said that he asked her if she would do only. This is what he does. Yeah, okay, so I made a joke about three months ago, six months ago, maybe on our Legion of Skanks OnlyFans, whatever it was, that I wanted to become an OnlyFans pimp, which is to take advantage of young hot women and be like, "Hey, I'll." optimize your OnlyFans and I'll manage it all you gotta do is oh, get yeah. naked that was a hilarious joke this guy does that that's uh-huh. his job that's his fucking business so, yeah, so he's, he's a better different. version than you well, yeah he rules at least the guy does what he says uh-huh. <laughs> um, but yeah remember his dad too came around he's like he's just drunk and he, ever since he started producing porn he goes around attacking people around town like what what are you what's ta- that part of porn it's crazy the guy's just a complete fucking uh, lunatic but no I'm gonna go to court for one it's for broadcasting. It's fucking world class. Are you gonna t- tape the court? You can't. But uh, what do you mean? I wanna, we're gonna bring our own court artist, dude. Which is the funniest thing in the world. That's pretty great. I want him to draw me with a uh, with a hanky on a witness stand, pointing <laughs> at him. That's the man who hurt me. Um, I want him to draw things that aren't actually happening, but we'll just tell what Can actually. Can I say happened. something? Sure. He doesn't need to come to do that. We can just have a guy do that tomorrow. Yeah, no, you're no, not actually no, 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 but I want to tell what actually happened. Like, <laughs> it's like having a guy draw Listen, things that aren't you happening. Absolutely, I understand. You yeah, have if anybody's an artist that wants to do scroll, no, no. sketches right now that don't exist, no, it's funnier, it's it's funnier it. if they go there. I uh, guess it's just a huge waste of your time. No. No, it's funny. Um, That's why Jay's not a producer. No, but I am funny. I, uh, <laughs> it's very funny. Um, but I'm saying, but no, us go. You don't have to go if you don't want to go, obviously. But no, I'm going to definitely go. because I'm going to go on his behalf. I couldn't do it. hilarious. <laughs> this that. guy was just drunk. He's fine. That'd be great. Actually, if you, go against, if you go as witness against I me, I swear to God, Jay, to witness. let me say this, Jay. If you bring this guy to court and pursue this any further, I'm going against you. Okay. <laughs> I swear to God. I believe you. I swear to fucking God. Well, this why, guy, do you look, not want, why do you not want Jay to Because this guy, I'll tell you why. Because this guy already dealt with the worst of it. He got the worst of it. If you would have been hurt, I would say, yeah, fucking prostitute this guy. I swear to you, I, 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 I say this and I mean this. I, if this guy and me and him were level, and he was like whatever and took a swing at me yeah. or something, I wouldn't go to. I wouldn't. I would have said I was going to go to court and lied, so they would arrest him that night, and I would have fucking uh, not done anything. I would have never showed up for because I'm like, who gives a fuck? The guy fucking square. What the guy did was sinister, dude. That was crazy. He could what have he did. killed. Him. <laughs> yeah, so I I'm mean, like, I'm going to go to court him. for sure. Sure. I'm actually, but I do think it's funny if we did it together. But we don't have to. You nope. don't have to. I'm, I'm going, but I'm going against you. Funnier. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna fucking. I'm, 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 I'm gonna pick. Dude, I'm gonna represent myself and pick you apart. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, is it true that a fake presidential election is the most important thing in your life? Yes. yes I rest my case. <laughs> Your Honor, how is this relevant? And then the judge goes, "I'll allow it." <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Object. This guy's such a dick. Yeah. I'll allow it. But you're on but very no, thin I, at- I, I, I am going to go to court. If, and listen, also, I'll be honest with you, if I myself would have been able to, like, have time to beat the shit out of him, I probably also wouldn't go to court. But I just didn't feel he got even close to enough for what his intentions were. The problem was half our fans yeah, are so fucking fuck faggots, and they pull us off of him. And half our fans are awesome, and they try dude, to kill him. Our, no, dude, <laughs> so, I'll tell you what. I don't know who it was, so I can say it. Who pulled me off him? It was the coolest fucking thing. That's why I say the best fans in the world, dude. And by the way, I mean for our brand. Legion of Skanks, fucking Skeptic Tank, Bonfire, a uh, uh, fucking real ass podcast, part of the pro. All the fucking that are fans of our brand of fucking shit are amazing because when they grabbed me, I, I thought, Lewis, if you heard this too, because I thought we were pretty close to it at this point, but a guy said to me, he goes, dude, don't get in trouble. We got it. Oh. Yeah. And that's fucking badass, yeah. dude. I fucking love our that. Fans are, our fans Damn. are criminals. Damn. And the guy said to me at the end, well, the only cop that was actually cool at the end, he goes, guy was pretty roughed up and, uh, we didn't do that, and I went, best fans in the fucking world, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. I, I will say this in all seriousness. Uh, people are like, dude. You're against you, you me, gotta, you get, No, no, no. No, in all seriousness, people are like, dude, you, you got to have a, a friend like Lewis in your corner, dude. Fucking loyal. Yeah. That's uh, it, where I, the way I grew up, that's the way anybody fucking reacted. If your friend gets attacked... It's not a thought. Like, if somebody attacked me, it's, it's like, I go, eh, do I want to fucking go also, to jail tonight? But if somebody attacks one of my friends, my first yeah. reaction is to immediately jump in and make sure that they're okay. But also, if you're trying to pull it apart, and our fans were pretty great about this, I got to say, from what I recall, I've never pulled a friend apart from a fight grabbing his arms. Always waste. Why? 
Because I'm not going to fucking shots. free him up to get somebody else to get you shots. You're some shots in while you're playing. No, you're fucking, yes. You try to get around the chest so you can, like, get them away from the fucking thing. It's just a better way to move someone. But so many people just go, like, stop fighting, like a hug thing. And you're like, dude, you're leaving Small finger like, pinky like, ah! Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Stop it. Stop it. You're being crazy. No Aikido. over in a circle. Jesus, that guy was good. Dude, don't flip. Lewis, stop. You're being crazy. No, and it was fucking, uh... That was awesome, man. I am. I'm fucking genuinely uh, was fucking moved by the fan reaction. The five, six years ago, man, that wouldn't have happened, dude. What we built here uh, is fucking amazing. And the fact that to be in a place I got and realize how safe I was yeah. after the split second I had time to realize I'm like, I'm 42. I'm not broken in pieces. When the cop yeah. asked that, five goes, years ago. Are you hurt? I go, Well, I'm 110% adrenaline right now, but I'm 42. Uh-huh. Tomorrow might suck, dude. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I fucking came down from a five and a half. Me and Lewis played basketball, and I felt like I had surgery. He ended up with a gun in his butt. I had a gun in my butt is how crazy that went. It was crazy. I don't know, man. I don't know how the dots connect anymore. He's like, you know what? This isn't that bad. There's no gun in my butt. Uh-huh. She goes, are, are you okay, sir? You go, I have this lower back pain, but that's from an unrelated gun in the butt uh, incident. It's like a lower, lower back. It's... Yeah. Were you hurt the next day? Were you sore? My shoulder was hurting a lot from my opinions. Jay, Jay's going to show up in court with a neck brace. Yeah. <laughs> Legitimately, I could punch or throw a fucking uh, football five times and have the same next two days of like, ah, shoulders kind of fucking twitch.